All right, so success, people. It seems like the water is coming out okay. There doesn't seem to be any leaks underneath there. Oh my gosh, look at him. Oh, he's immediately like, oh, what's going on? Good morning everybody, welcome to the vlog and to the day that I've been kind of anticipating to see how this is going to go. I have to fix Lucy's cage today, which first means I have to come in the cage with Lucy and try to get her out and get her into another holding cage. This is going to be fun, I have no idea what's going to happen and I hope the start of your day is absolutely amazing. What do you say we just uh, do our best and brave this thing? Lucy, how are you feeling today? <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, this is a little intimidating, but we're gonna have a good time. So again, I have two issues here. There's something that's leaking right from this drain over here, and then right where that puddle is, it's leaking. The other thing I'm a little bit concerned about is that this bedding is completely soaking wet. Now, we did have an issue with the waterfall when I was gone that might have put some of the water over here, but I don't know what's going on. So definitely have my work cut off for me. I think for today, I'm gonna drain this, take a closer look and see if I can start to repair it, but uh, this is a bummer, I'm not gonna lie to you. This is the one cage I wish that this would have never happened to. Hey girl, it's all right. A little bit different when you're walking in here with her. Oh boy, oh boy. It's okay, girl. Oh boy. All right, all right, sweetheart. This is uh, this is getting a little weird now. Here, you know what I mean? It's getting a little weird now because she's got me trapped in the corner now. Okay. Okay, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Come on, you're all you're right. You're right. So we can work on this cage. She's Here. fine. She's acting fine. Just don't let her get away. Do you want to jump on the front end? Yeah. Okay. You know what? Get over here. Up front with us. Okay. All right. So she's gonna go into this cage for the next day or two while I'm fixing her other cage. I'm sorry, Lucy. I know you love your cage. Oh, oh Ryan. Oh, God. <laughs> I know. It's a waterfall back here. Right, just let her go, let her go, let her go, let her go, let her know. Let her know. She's fine. Oh, Lucy kind of Lisa kind of peed all over the place. But oh. she actually it wasn't as bad as I thought. Oh. <laughs> There's a mop. <laughs> All right, I tell you, she looks really good in this cage too. She'll stay in the bigger cage once we get it fixed. But it actually looks really nice in here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what happened, guys? Well, she does what she usually does. Her pee stinks. It stings. It stings. Mm -hmm. The first time you made me handle Lucy with her, she peed on us. Yeah, I remember. It's reminiscent of that. It just it takes a while to get that smell off, huh? <laughs> yeah. You guys did good though. It's, it's, crawling. it's crawling over here. It's crawling, it's crawling, it's crawling. Look at all of this pee. Oh my gosh. Look at that off. Holy moly. Okay. Okay. So Lucy is in her cage. 
We're gonna, like I said, we're gonna go ahead and let her kind of crawl around, roam around in this cage. It isn't quite the luxury penthouse she's used to, but still a very nice big cage. Like I said, in the next day or two, we'll be able to get her back, but I have to try to repair a cage. First things first, Andrea and Kelsey are gonna go ahead and clean that cage up so I can get in there and kind of hopefully fix it today. All right, so I'm currently under the cage. There's two issues. This pipe here where the fitting is seems to be dripping, and then up there, the seal seems to be broke. I can fix the one up front, no problem. The one back here where the, it's actually leaking in, that is a major, major, major problem. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do yet, but uh, definitely found the issue. Okay, draining Lucy's cage. <laughs> I'm sad, people. Wish me luck on this one. I want this cage to work. It's my kind of highlight cage. I hope it's gonna be a simple fix. So now that we have it cleaned out, I can kind of take a look. It looks like there's a little bit of seam kind of where the caulk is up right here. I don't really see a seam break along this wall, but I think I'm gonna just go ahead and redo all of this caulking here. Just get this kind of sealed up. There's even a seam like right here that basically looks like it needs to be caulked as well. This is basically like an acrylic right here, and we have an acrylic pan in every single cage. So theoretically, you were supposed to be able to fill this cage up with this much water, and it would literally hold like an aquarium. Obviously there was a leak there but more importantly this leaks right here and this is the part that concerns me really a lot if it's this down here where the seam is it's okay we can probably fix that with a product that is actually like a welding type of product that will actually get down in there we'll be able to put around the edge and the seam will be completely fine my bigger concern is if this bulkhead is bad so how I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put that putty down in this hole seal all those seams up and then what I'm gonna do is actually you can see there's a threading right here I'm gonna go ahead and thread a cap on that then I can fill this water up right here I can turn the waterfall back on and if it doesn't leak then I would know that the leak was down in the fitting not in the bulkhead part here because if it's in the bulkhead we have a major problem but I don't think that's going to be the case I think it is going to be in the fitting worst case scenario we have to get under there cut it all out and start over but hopefully that welding product can actually seal that up in the meantime I'm going to go ahead and work on that then I'm going to go ahead and put that cap on there to hold the water in we'll turn the waterfall on and then we'll just have to wait to see if there's any leaks. Had to enlist the help of Lori because she had smaller hands. <laughs> I couldn't fit down here. I think we might have all the welding stuff in here now. Basically now we just have to let it dry. Again, what I'm gonna do now is screw a cap on this. And that way I can fill the water up and it won't get down into that hole at all. And we can see if there's any other leak. As I'm giving this putty a little time to set up, as I've been doing every day, we're gonna bring one or two animals over. The crew wanted to bring Macklemore, the Maclots Python over. So we have a cage set up. They're gonna bring him over, release him, and let's see how he does. And we went ahead and chose this cage right here because I think it's actually perfect for him. There's some areas for him to climb. He can hide back over here. Here's the hot spot over here. The cool spot is over here, so it's got plenty of room. It's a pretty cool cage. I think he's going to really love it. And Kelsey is over here with Macklemore right now. What do you think? You want to do the honors and put him in? Absolutely. All right. Come on, Macklemore. Let's see what you got. All right. Come on, buddy. I tell you, I love this part. This is my favorite part of the zoo by far. Putting animals back in a new cage. I mean, how cool. Just to see how they're going to act. Oh my gosh, look at him. Oh, he's immediately like, oh, what's going on? What are you doing, buddy? There he goes. He's trying to find some areas, just kind of checking it out. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. And like I've said, I'm anxious to see how they end up doing in these cages. Sometimes it's really kind of amazing how they'll use certain areas of the cage that I never expected. So we're going to give him a couple days. We'll kind of keep an eye on him, see what he's doing, and we'll decide, was this cage the right choice? Do we want to move him to another cage? Do we need to add some more branches? You know, what is it that we actually need? But again, we're going to let the animals kind of tell us what we're doing. Right now, he's just kind of checking out. I don't think he really knows what's going on. He's just like, he's kind of confused right now. And that's the thing that's so interesting interesting is, you know, this is the first time these animals have ever been in a natural environment and it's kind of heartwarming to see them crawl around and just kind of explore and see what they're trying to figure out. I think he looks great in this habitat and he seems to love it. All right, so back to this, I'm back in the cage. So again, this is the little plug that I'm gonna put in this hole. And again, that should seal everything up so I can make sure that there's no leaks in this at all, that it's definitely the plumbing. Again, we put the putty down there. We hope that seals up if there's any potential leaks down there, but now we can actually test each individual thing. So if we put this down in here, screw it in and seal that, 
Once we fill this up with water, we're gonna find out if there's any leaks around here or over here or anything else like that. If there's no leaks there and then we open that up and it leaks again, we know it's a connection issue. Makes sense? Hopefully if it was a connection issue, now that putty will kind of seal that up. In the meantime, I'm gonna tighten that up. We'll add some water in there and hopefully turn the waterfall back on and hopefully there won't be any more leaks. Okay, water is on, pond is starting to fill. Fingers are crossed. Let's hope this works. Oh my gosh. And again, we should be able to realize pretty quickly if I fill this up, if there's no leaking going on, then we know it was the fitting and it's not like the bulkhead or some other leak that's actually in the pond itself. In a perfect world, this would be sealed and we won't have a problem because this would be really, really hard to fix. If it's just the fitting, hopefully that putty that we put on our fix, worst case scenario, if I have to cut it off and start over, I can do it. It's a pain in the butt, but it's not that bad. This needs to be sealed. So this is the most important test we have here. So, uh, Let's hope this works. Okay, the water is full. I just climbed underneath. There's no leak with it just sitting here filled up like this. I'll go ahead and plug the pump in and see if maybe as it's circulating, that shouldn't really change anything. So that tells me that it's probably not the bulkhead or anything wrong with the pond itself. It's probably something with the connection, which hopefully that putty fix. If not, we're just gonna have to rip it apart and do it over again. But step by step, I'm gonna go ahead and run the pump probably for 24 hours, see if there's any leaks anywhere else. And if that works out, then I'm in good shape. Then I just know I have to make sure that that weld works. We'll pull the plug out. We'll see if it actually holds with the putty that we did. If that doesn't happen, then we have to go from there. But at least we're starting to problem solve and figure out what the actual problem is. And it doesn't appear that it has anything to do with the bulkhead or the pond lining whatsoever. This seems to be holding true. Okay, the pond is plugged in. It's gonna take a few minutes for it to prime and hopefully we'll see this uh, start to work. And then we'll find out if with the pond on, if there's any leaks. Okay, the pump is starting to prime now. Starting to get some water flow in here. Still, it looks like we're good. I'll climb underneath in a minute to see if there's anything going on. I'm just gonna get this, uh, these valves kind of set again. Again, it takes a while for this pump to kind of prime because again, it's gotta come all the way there, go all the way up, all the way up the top. It's kind of hard, but once it's primed, then it works really well. So it's gonna take a few minutes, but once that gets going, then we'll go ahead and check underneath, see if there's no leaks. If there's no leaks, at least we know we're one step closer to having this thing figured out. All right, so success, people. It seems like the water is coming out okay. There doesn't seem to be any leaks underneath there, so success. I'm gonna let this run for the next 24 hours, make sure there's absolutely no chance that there's a leak. If that's the case, then we'll open this valve up, make sure that that connection is now fixed, and then we should be good to go. I also re all of this, and then I used that Flex Seal paint to kind of go on it, just so that when there's a little bit of wetness going on, like if Lucy overflows the pond, it doesn't get out. Because again, this is supposed to be all watertight here, so uh, we should be good to go. We're definitely gonna need to air this out for at least a couple days, because there's a lot of fumes from the Flex Seal, but uh, hey, I think we're on the right path. I think we might have Lucy's cage fixed again. Last thing I have to do for the day is I actually have to build racks for this string cage here and that string cage down there. And I think I'm going to put a couple frog takes in it. I've got to work on that. That's the last racks from the center aisle. Then I have to just kind of tie them together and then we can start fixturing them out early next week. So, okay, let's build some racks. So we have all our cuts now for our racks. We just have to bring these in, nail them together, and kind of put the racks together and hopefully do it right this time. So uh, I'll show you guys as it's come together how it actually should look. Let's hope we do it right. So here's the finished product here. You basically have this nice screen cage, a two by two by four foot. And then we're actually gonna have two frog tanks here. This is actually Snoop Frog here. And then we're gonna have another one here. And then we're gonna build another rack right next to it where this actually goes down here and the frogs are up here. So we can actually display four horn frogs. So one more rack to build. I'll show you guys in a second. And there's the last rack right there. You kind of get the idea where we wanted them a little bit staggered. So we're kind of creating these interesting lines. Again, frog tanks will go up here 
chameleons down here, chameleon over here, frog tanks over here. Let's go ahead and take kind of an inventory of what's been happening here and what's already over here. First off, obviously today, we still have the waterfall going, the pond is going, I just checked, no leaks, which is absolutely amazing. Lucy is actually up in this cage right now and she seems to be completely happy. She's gonna be completely fine for the next day or two or three or whatever it takes to get this other thing figured out. For now, she's absolutely loving this cage. Of course, I can't wait to get her back into her other cage. That goes without saying. Daisy looks absolutely fantastic in her cage. She's been doing so well. She's just been kind of lounging around. As a matter of fact, I mean, look at how amazing she is. She just looks so good. It's okay, sweetheart. I know you're trying to figure it all out, but I love her cage. It looks fantastic. And of course, we've got my girl Bella up here just lounging out in her hot spot, just loving her cage. It's really cool. I mean, today she came running up to the front. She got a bunch of attention from us, petted her and stuff like that. It's like she enjoyed the attention. I absolutely love the fact that she's digging her cage. She always hangs out in her hot spot. A lot of times she sleeps right down here, so she's doing great. Then of course there's Chicken Strip right up here. You can see he loves hanging out right by the heat. I mean, this is where we find him almost all the time. Every now and then he'll pop down here, kind of hide a little bit, get out of the way, you know, that's fine. But he loves it up there basking. This is a perfect cage for him. Of course, then we put Rico in this cage right here. He's just kind of hanging out right on the hot spot. I think it's great that he loves it. His cage is looking good, but uh, he is definitely settling in nicely. Of course, Tazzy here has his nice little penthouse. Right, buddy? You hanging out and enjoying yourself, sweetheart? He's been hanging out up at the hot spot a lot, but he comes down for pets and he's just absolutely amazing. And of course, Macklemore has only been in his cage for just a couple hours, but he seems to be hanging out right on the hot spot. Seems to be liking that. I think he's still getting used to things. We'll see how he acts in the next day or two, but so far, so good. And finally, of course, Sunrise is over here hanging out in her little penthouse as well, having a good time. There's a chance we may move her up into a bigger cage. I'm not 100% sure yet. We'll give her a day or two in here and probably sometime over the weekend or something like that. I may move her. I'm not 100% sure. With that being said, I want to know from you guys, what other animals do you want us to move over? Of course, we're going to be moving tons of stuff, but I want to know from you guys. I do have to go out of town tomorrow. i got to head out to LA for a quick thing. I'll be gone like a day and a half and then I'll be back working on the Reptarium. So let me know in the comments what animal you'd like to see move next. And with that said, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog get ready for my trip to LA I cannot wait to share with you you guys are going to be surprised who I'm going to do a video with it's definitely really bizarre but it's going to be a lot of fun of course I'm going to stop over at Jay at Prehistoric and the Reptile Zoo out there have some fun with him I'm borrowing some of his animals for the video shoot again a one day trip I'm flying out to LA doing a thing flying back the next day so we will not be gone long because I think we have nine or ten days left before the open again we're hoping for the 21st of September for the open for the Reptarium and I hope that you guys are going to come visit me that weekend again the whole weekend we will be here having a great time. I hope that you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. As always, you mean the world to me. Your support is everything, and I cannot thank you enough. Do me a couple favors before we get out of here. Can you smash that like button? Turn those post notifications on. Leave a comment down below. Let me know something awesome about yourself. Be kind to someone, and I promise we're going on an adventure tomorrow, and I'll see you then.